how are you feeling? Because how horrific, you, I mean, your life must have just flashed before your eyes. It's something you never expect to happen to you. And um, it's just a bit of a blur still, to be honest. I'm so dosed up on painkillers. I'm, I'm almost grateful to feel this numb. But um, I'm really lucky. I've been lucky. How did you come to be in a racing car in the I first know. place? I mean, what was going on? I know. I, something I, that everyone keeps asking me, because I don't even go to the gym. Since March, I, um, I've been a radio host. The beauty of our show is that we get out and about around North Yorkshire and we try new things. Last Wednesday, we were visiting um, a stock car racing track. And it was meant to be a fun afternoon, a promotional video. And it just, for me, ended bad. So what do you remember about what happened, about what went wrong? I just remember being excited and it was new and then realising very fast that, that the car was more powerful than me. And when I was revving to drive, I, I didn't expect it to just be so quick. And I just lost control. I couldn't, I couldn't brake and I couldn't turn it. Um, round the corner and I could just see that I was about to hit and then and then that was when I lost I One of the things out. when you're doing uh, Filming mm -hmm. I always think is is that um, you sort of trust that everyone's yeah. checked everything not that I'm sure they did anything wrong whatsoever but you are encouraged to go for it on yeah. these things aren't you, you feel and you invincible feel in, a, in a bubble in a way yeah don't you? whenever you're filming you just trust the surroundings you trust that everything's going to go to plan and the team at the race track were yeah. in, they were phenomenal i had all the right gear on i had the protective clothing on the helmet the guys were were wonderful and supportive and I respect the sport completely, and I have to say this because I've had some really negative comments on, on social media that's been really upsetting from the stock car racing community, almost, you know, lacking compassion. And So they were being a bit critical of you yeah. and saying that, what, it, it wasn't as bad as you were making yeah. it or something? and they were almost disappointed that I'd been airlifted and only come out of it with some internal bruising and sprained wrists. And, and I've got to also point out that sometimes injuries can be invisible. I mean, my head doesn't feel right and I can barely, my, you know, stretch my, my ribs and my back so sore. And there's people every day walking around with injuries and disabilities that are invisible to the eye. I mean, I'm so thankful, I'm so lucky that mm. I've, it wasn't worse. Because actually Lee at the time, he was relaying messages yeah. via your colleague Ben, because yeah. you couldn't hear I still the had the helmet on and, I had like this like numb, blocked up feeling in my head, like there was water in my head, like my brain had rattled and I couldn't really hear much and um, I couldn't feel much either. But Ben Fry, my, my colleague, my co-host on the radio was relaying messages from Lee to try and keep me awake and just saying, hold on, stay awake, Lee loves you. And I was, mm. I was just trying to fight the tiredness because you just awake. wanted to go to and sleep. And at one point you couldn't feel your legs. The minute I woke up, I, I knew it wasn't good. I think that's why they airlifted me, because I couldn't feel my legs. Anything, yeah. And my neck and my head was... I've never felt pain like it. Oh, Roxanne, what... I'm so lucky. But despite that, oh. you were determined to get back behind the wheel, weren't you? Yeah. And actually went out driving with Lee. How was that, just making sure that you, you wanted to be able to drive again? I had to, because... Not I, a racing car, not, I should say. No, a normal car. car, yeah. I've learned, in, I've learned from previous experiences that if you don't get back out there after something goes wrong, it's even harder the longer you leave it. So yesterday, we... Um, we we just found a quiet spot and I got behind the wheel and I just took it easy because I didn't want to be scared to drive no. and I didn't want to be scared of anything really. It's going to take time like any any bad you know incident mm. just okay. to erase from your memory but I'm I'm lucky to be here and I always well, just want to take this moment thank to thank you are. The I want to give you a hug services. but I'm scared <laughs> I'll make it worse. <laughs> it's it's the awful. emergency